Okay, welcome back. We're continuing with logistic regression and in this video, in the next video, we are going to look at the two methods, the two algorithms that we use to fit uh, the log likelihood function or essentially not fit the log likelihood, that's a mistake, fit the logistic function to the data. Okay. So remember that we can vary these parameters, these betas inside the probability model. And as we're varying them, they, they fit the actual training data better and better. And there's two methods for determining these beta parameters. The one is gradient. In the previous videos, I've been talking about gradient descent. Um, when actually, it's most likely most people would use gradient ascent, not gradient descent because what we're trying to do is we're trying to take the log likelihood function and maximize the log likelihood function. Okay, so I, I mentioned gradient descent and actually you can vary uh, this cost function, the log likelihood function so that it is gradient descent. But um, in this example, we will look at gradient ascent. And in the next video, we'll look at Newton's method for solving these parameters. Remember guys, these, these algorithms are to, are to find the best parameters that allow the model to fit the data. Okay, so what is gradient ascent? Well, remember gradient descent is you've got, um, we're looking for, well, say now you've got, this is your cost function contour, remember? And, um, we're looking to try to get to the minimum value for J, which is your cost function. We're trying to minimize that. And so we started at some point in this bowl. This was just for a two dimensional <clears throat> parameter space. And the first, so this was our initial beta, right? If it's beta one and beta two, right? And then what did we do? We found the gradient of J, which is the partial derivative of your cost function with respect to beta one and your partial derivative with res of your cost function with respect to beta two. And this gave you a direction. OK, it gave you a direction to go in. And what would happen was um, you would then multiply this direction with a step, a learning rate. OK. And so you would then get your new betas, right, is equal to your old betas minus a learning rate or a step size times the gradient of J. And you would keep iterating, keep iterating, keep iterating until you got close to the minimum J value. Okay. So. All that's different here with gradient ascent is, okay, what's different? Number one, instead of going downhill to the lowest point of your cost function, we are, and I'm just going to do this on a, a single variable problem. Um, we are going to ascend. We are going to ascend up the hill to the maximum value of your cost function J. Okay, so we're going to start somewhere and we're going to keep going up. Keep going up until we get close to our maximum J, which is the idea's maximum likelihood. Okay, or log likelihood. So again, we start at a specific um, vector of, of beta values. If it's a single beta value, then it's right, then it's just a, a single beta parameter. But this is more than likely um, a, a vector and it is normally P, P plus one beta parameters where P is the number of input features. Okay. Then we add, okay, the learning rate times the partial derivative of your log likelihood function with respect to all your beta parameters. Okay, and it's out of the scope of this video, but this del j del beta is given by this. Okay, 
the sum of i equals 1 to n of yi, remember yi is what? This is your actual output, your actual um, target label, a 1 or a 0. And this is the probability that we've been seeing again and again. Okay, it's uh, 1 over 1 plus e to the minus beta transpose x. Okay, and then xi is simply your, your input features. Okay, so this is then you, the partial derivative of your cost function with respect to this. And again, you just, you start, maybe if you've got in a two-dimensional problem, that's a bowl, right, an upside-down bowl, and you're trying to get to the top of this bowl. And so you start at some point, you calculate the... Um, the gradient okay the gradient and you add that gradient times a learning step or a learning rate and the idea is that you eventually get you get the parameters which give you the maximum log likelihood okay now there's a lot more to this but this gives you the overview um, so just a reminder, there are two ways basically in practice that we could, uh, we could find these parameters. The one is gradient ascent and the other one is Newton's method. And um, Newton's method is much faster, which we'll do in the next one, to find these, uh, all these final parameters, but um, they don't work well, and we'll see why, when there are a very large number of beta parameters, say greater than 10,000 beta parameters. Um, and we'll get to that in the next one. But gradient ascent works well for when there aren't that many, say, say uh, smaller than 10,000 or even 1,000 or less. Okay, so less than 1,000 beta parameters. We can use gradient ascent. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, in the next one, we will look at Newton's method and how it's applied to solving the logistic regression function. Okay, bye.